Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Mamas. I'm Mama Jal Knowles with your Sunday sports. As we gear up for the Swimming Nationals, which is set to take place June 20th through the 24th, there were only two meets left on the calendar to qualify to compete at the Games, one of which took place last night as the Mako Aquatics Club hosted their Spring Invitational at the Belly, Betty Kelly Kennick Aquatic Center with the morning session starting around 8.30 and the evening session at around 5.30. The meet was a very entertaining one as we saw stellar performances from over 300. Yeah, it was a good meet, uh, good weather. Uh, getting so close to nationals, a lot of the younger ones were um, aiming to qualify, uh, make their national cut, and I saw a lot of them come out the post Marlin, so it was a good day. Um, the seniors stepped up, and uh, obviously not easy to swim seven events in one day, um, but I think they, they did a good job uh, warming down and on their recovery side, so overall it was a good meet. Now, two of those seniors would be Devontae Carey and Kalia Albury. They will take home the high point trophies for the girls and boys 15 and over division. Um, it was a good meet overall, saying that I came off Carifta. Um, still got some medals, but didn't get in that much personal best. But um, came back right on times. Actually got two more Pan Am cuts. Uh, so really just looking forward to better those times now. I feel great. I, going into the competition, I seated myself where I could place in a good place to win, to gain enough points to, be high, to get the high point trophy. So when I, when I heard my name, I was really excited. In baseball news yesterday over at the Freedom Farm Baseball Park, a new champion was crowned in the Junior Girls Division after falling short last year. The Morning Glory would take home the big prize in 2019, steamrolling the Periwinkles 17-6. to Well, last year, we had a perfect lead, not a perfect record. We were independent last year. We were hoping to win last year, but uh, we had some downfalls when we reached the championship. This year, we worked extra hard. The girls some come out and give it their best, and they didn't give up. That's all it takes, teamwork and dedication. And this year, we got a perfect record. We have an for the season and didn't lose a game in the championship game. Just tell me a bit about the, the mental focus that takes, you know, for a team to go through the regular season undefeated and the playoffs undefeated. Well, the mental of well, these young girls, uh, you know, how the females go. A lot of dedication. You got to put into them time. You got to uh, talk to them. And all the votes. How the sports minister, the Honorable Anisha Roll, pledging more assistance for the Family Island Athletic programs earlier this week. The track and field representative for the Out Island is taking her up on the task, and he has something particular in mind. We really need more support from not just our local persons in our communities, but also I think that youth sports and culture, again, with the minister, can do just a bit more. Um, not just when it's time for us to have the meet and assist, but also with the things that we would need as far as preparing and preparation in the local youth sports and culture um, areas. And yes, we do need a track in Saudi Luther. For too long, Saudi Luther has been dormant using the same old grass track that the local persons done there. So now we're asking the minister of youth sports and culture to step up to the plate and help Saudi Lutra with getting a world-class track in Saudi Lutra. And the Miami Dolphins cheerleaders clinic on Friday certainly was an entertaining event, but for the Ministry of Tourism sports coordinator, he says it's just the start of a very busy summer. Things coming up, um, we have more basketball tournaments coming up, we have golfing tournaments coming up, and fishing more fishing tournaments coming up. And the beautiful thing, beautiful thing about it is that all of them are not going to be held right here in Nassau. Um, we always think of Nassau as being the hub, but we're making sure that Bimini has events, Freeport has events, Eleuther and Harbor Island, Long Island, so the entire about the Bahamas, as much as we can cover it in terms of um, that has the facilities to host whatever events that we can house from an international perspective, we're welcoming here, here to the Bahamas. Um, because the, I think more and more the Bahamas is really Realizing that the Bahamas are realizing that international field, I should say, is realizing that um, we have the venue, we have the interest of the international persons that want to come here, and we definitely have the talent here that can be that want to be exposed to such foreign entities and, and create marketing and, and networking strategies with these teams. And that's been a look at sports on this Sunday. A quick check on weather is up next. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.